The division between Palestine's two political factions played out in the streets of Nablus on Wednesday. The Palestinian Authority's security forces attacked mourners in the funeral procession of a Hamas gunman. Palestinian officials say some participants violated arrangements that were agreed before the funeral, but many here believe the Palestinian Authority does not want Hamas to have a strong presence in the occupied West Bank. Not only is the Israeli army worried about the fighters uniting, Palestinians who have personal interests are worried about the unity in Jenin being copied in other places. Before he was killed, gunman Abdel Fattah Khrushche was taking refuge in Jenin, a hub for the armed resistance to Israel's occupation. Here in Jenin, a different picture. Not only do Palestinians fight side by side, but gunmen provide support to one another, even when they belong to different Palestinian factions and come from different cities. Fighters tell Al Jazeera the internal Palestinian division only serves to benefit Israel. The leadership's far away from the Palestinian struggle. For a long time, the Palestinian Authority wants to curb the resistance, and we're against that. Ziad Zaraini is one of six Palestinian Israeli forces killed during the raid in Jenin on Tuesday. He was a member of the Palestinian security forces before he took up arms and joined other fighters in Jenin. Now is the time for us to take up arms. Young people have much more awareness. They say we have to resist. We can't stay silent against the Israeli aggression. For Palestinians, it's been a cycle of grief, anger and mourning. United in pain. And now they say, the fight. Nida Ibrahim, Al Jazeera, the occupied West Bank.